somewhere along the way, musicians and artists got the bad rap of being terrible at administration. <laughs> and I don't know how true that is for you, but I know it's definitely been true for me at times. And maybe you've heard the phrase, bad administration hurts people. And I think that's true, but so is the inverse, that good administration is actually a blessing to people. And the root of administer is literally to minister, like in Latin, to minister. So it's, it's ministry, it's kingdom work to do administration. It's not the other stuff that you've got to get to. And a few years ago, I was serving in a church that worship was good, but the team was relatively small. And I had this sinking feeling that we were just barely getting by from week to week. And I wanted more for that. And uh, I you know, would have meetings with our church staff dreaming about bigger things and expanding the church and reaching more people and doing more services. And I knew that worship was going to be a bottleneck for the vision of our pastor and for our church, unless I changed something. And I didn't really know what to do. And I was at a retreat and I received a word from God. And I feel like God said, build a trellis. And that kind of came out of left field. I didn't really know what that was about. But uh, as I dug into what a trellis is and what it means to have a trellis, I realized that uh, God was turning my attention to building systems, building um, support structure for the vine, for the worship ministry. And I was so worried about pulling off music from Sunday to Sunday that I didn't really have time to think about this stuff, but God opened my eyes to the fact that if I build these systems where musicians can thrive and worship music can happen as an overflow, that I'd never have to worry about pulling off music on a Sunday ever again, that that would just happen. And so I started digging into what a trellis is. It's, it's a structure that consists of braces and wires for the vine to grow on. And you can grow a vine without a trellis or without a structure, but it's not gonna bear much fruit. Uh, but as soon as you provide a trellis for the vine to grow on, the sun gets to more parts of the vine and the fruit multiplies exponentially. And the trellis is able to bear weight and flex and take storms when they come and able to bear the weight of a really, really bumper crop of lots and lots of grapes. And I knew that I had to build a trellis to build structures for the, for the team to grow on. I don't think any great winemaker has ever said that I got into winemaking because I was a great trellis builder. Like, no one has ever said that, but they all have a trellis. It's a prerequisite for growing the grapes that they need to produce the wine that they want to make. And so I would encourage you, it's not a question of gifting, uh, just like those winemakers, it's, it's, it's a question of realizing what it takes structure-wise to make the fruit that you're after. So build systems, build structures, build things that you can do on repeat, that you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time a need arises, and your worship ministry will thrive because of it.